Hey there, beautiful nerds. I'm Christina Brawley, and today we are serving up 30 red hot truth bombs in less than 30 minutes. So as you know, with the show, I call bullshit. It's really just um, an opportunity for me to kind of clear up things that maybe wouldn't be interesting and or relevant to my YouTube channel or my social medias. But it's just something that's like, okay, I wish everybody knew knew this and then just share that knowledge with you guys. And because I have uh, a scientific background, I am a board certified physician, anesthesiologist. Um, and so it's really important for me to be able to cite true, legitimate, evidence-based sources. So no spin, nothing, just the straight hard facts. I think that's kind of what everyone deserves, you know? And in the age of misinformation, I myself have been misled by misinformation. But I thought for today's episode, we'd maybe do something a little bit more fun. And instead of diving into just one deeply rooted myth or misconception, I thought maybe we'd do rapid fire ones. So, you know, without further ado, let's let's jump into this. In a world veiled by corporate greed, one podcast stands between bullshit and the truth. This is the I Call Bullshit Podcast with your host, Christina Brawley. All right, so let's talk about rapid fire myth busting. Uh, I've got my notes here on my phone because I've like listed them all out. And we're going to do some myth, myth busting here on the everyday crap that we've been sold as healthy, as well as, you know, the drill, corporate nonsense, wellness influencers, grandmas, old wives tales. Every all of that is getting fact checked today. So buckle up and grab a snack. We're covering everything from hydration myths to food lies and even those sleep debt scams. So let's go. All right. Number one, drinking eight glasses of water a day. Bullshit. Hydration needs do vary and you should really drink to thirst and coffee also incidentally counts, which is great. Um, I've also heard the myth that by the time you're actually thirsty, you are already dehydrated. I do believe that's true. Detox cleanses cleanse your liver. No, your liver and your kidneys do that naturally. Juice cleanses are basically just expensive diarrhea. Eating late causes weight gain. No. Calories matter, not the clock. Low fat means healthy. No. Low fat usually means high sugar and healthy fats are actually your friends. Frozen food is bad. This is actually false. Frozen fruits and veggies are just as nutritious, sometimes more so. I think, and I'm going to insert my own commentary here, I think what the misconception is, is frozen prepared foods typically contain a very, very alarming amount of sodium. So if you're looking at frozen prepared meals, you should definitely check the sodium content before you consider purchasing it from that frozen section. But when it comes to just frozen, flash frozen fruits and vegetables, don't knock it. They're great. And they're a great way to get kind of fresh vegetables out of season because um, they're typically frozen when they are at the peak of ripeness. Cracking knuckles causes arthritis. So no, it's actually just air bubbles, not bone damage. Wet hair gives you a cold. I think you already know the answer to this one. No, colds come from viruses, not wet hair. Juice diets help you lose weight. No, you're losing water, not fat. You are risking muscle loss, and it's just not good for you. Carbs are evil. This this one I think my husband would fight me to the death on, even though he is also a physician and a much smarter one at that. It's actually false. It's that complex carbs are fuel and you should really fear the simple carbs like sugar, not oats. So you really want to make sure that you're ingesting complex carbs. They're good for you. They're a good source of fuel. Um, they're a healthy source of fuel for your brain. It's the simple ones, the simple sugars you want to avoid. Sleep debt is recoverable on weekends. Now, apparently, according to new research, sleep debt adds up. So you never get it back. You can never truly catch up on your sleep debt. So you should always stick to a schedule no matter what. Pulling gray hairs makes more grow. This is patently false. One hair equals one follicle. You're not cloning them. Shaving makes hair thicker. This is also a myth. I feel like they debunked this in our like teenage magazines, but no. It grows back blunt tipped, which makes it feel thicker, but it's not. It's not actually thicker. The body temp is always 98.6. This one I truly do take issue with because I run 97, which is crazy. I know. So it's an average temperature. Normal range of body core body temp is 97 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Like I said, I'm usually sub 98 
I don't know why. Does this mean I'll live longer? All right, toilet seats cause infections. So interestingly enough, this is highly unlikely. Can't completely rule it out, but your hands are really the, the germ superhighway. So fomites, AKA germs that can get transferred from an inanimate object to you and then get into you or spread to someone else. Pathogens, these things, you know, obviously if you're touching the toilet seat, yeah, you could pick up fomites, but it's really your hands that are the source of everything. Whether you're rubbing your eyes, whether you're shaking someone's hands, whether you're touching your hand to your lips or mouth, it's, it's truly just your hands are truly the most disgusting part of your body. Microwaving kills nutrients. So oh, I have a really hard time believing this, but check the sources, guys. There's sources in every episode. Microwaving actually preserves nutrients more than boiling. Fascinating. Eggs are bad for your heart. All right, so this is actually false. The yolk of an egg has a ton of nutrients and dietary cholesterol has just a minor, minor effect on heart health. MSG or monosodium glutamate causes headaches or cancer. Apparently, it's actually safe and FDA approved. FDA approved. It also, it, have you have you seen, we need to do actually probably a whole deep dive episode into this one. MSG was actually caused a racist food panic and it's not based on actual science. So so this whole like MSG free, like MSG, MSG kind of panic mode was actually more racially directed than anything else. So it's it's fascinating. Alkal alkaline diets can change your pH. Nope. Your kidneys and your blood have natural buffer systems in them so that they will buffer your 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 blood to an like the perfect neutral pH every single time. It does not matter what you ingest. The only things that will throw it off kilter would be an acidosis or an alkalosis. Sugar causes diabetes. No, not, not directly. Weight gain and insulin resistance do matter, and sugar isn't the sole villain. Fat-free dressings are better. Wrong can actually help you absorb nutrients. This is crazy, guys. Like this is just everything. I've been, I say this more and more to my husband every day as we learn kind of the even just in the news, like the mainstream media, what they have been, the legacy media has been feeding to us. That's just a web of lies and full of ulterior motives and corruption and scams. It's really feels like these days we are turning everything we knew on on its head. And I love that for us. I love that we are really boiling things down to a single source of truth and getting to the bottom of things and not just taking what we are told at face value. I love that for us. I think we should all be more critical thinkers. And I think that I hope this inspires a generation of critical thinkers. All right, let's continue. Whole grain always means healthy. No, ultra processed whole grain snacks are still actually junk food. Coffee dehydrates you. Again, kind of alluding to what we talked about in the first one, myth. It actually does, your coffee does count towards your hydration quota, which is fantastic. Even though you don't, everyone doesn't need eight cups of water or glasses of water a day. It actually counts as one of them, which is great. You can boost your immunity immunity with vitamins. No, actually. You really should just eat well. All right, here's another one. That you can sweat out a cold. This is also bullshit. You just feel worse and you end up dehydrating yourself. Biotics cure colds. Again, what we refer to in American English as a cold, a common cold, is actually a virus. And antibiotics are more for a bacterial infection. Chewing gum stays in your gut for seven years. No, it passes through just like any other indigestible fiber. A myth that you need to poop daily. A daily poop is actually not true, not needed. At least three times a week, between three times a week to three times a day is perfectly normal. Who poops three times a day? Please comment. Let me know if you're doing okay. All saturated fats are bad. Well, in here, just like everything, there's nuance and context matters. So quality sources like coconut or dairy fats can be actually part of a healthy, balanced diet. Stretching prevents soreness. No, actually, it doesn't work. It helps with your flexibility, but not your DOMS, which is a lingo I literally just learned in this moment for delayed onset muscle soreness. Natural equals safe. No, hemlock is natural. Arsenic is natural. You need to look beyond the label. Natural is, is very commonly used. We use it in our own lingo at, for my brand, but because it truly is natural, but you do need to be very, very wary of how casually natural gets thrown around. Almost everything comes from nature, whether in part or because we man-made it. So it really just depends um, on the context and you should take that for a grain of salt. What you really want to look for are, th are claims like 
what they're free from, so phthalate-free, paraben-free, carcinogen-free, but they are um, if they're specifically explicitly saying non-toxic, that's usually a really good sign. And you should just always look at ingredient labels. And just do your research on the company too. Like, what are they for? What is their mission? What do they stand by? And then you have a better idea of whether you can trust them or not. All right, so the closing takeaways. I hope you found that fun. I love that. That was 30 rapid fire myths busted. I absolutely love that. Closing takeaways, don't trust the labels, don't fear carbs, fats, or your microwave. Use common sense and reliable science. The only detox you need is probably from bad health advice. I loved that one. So if your jaw hit the floor on this, please do us a favor. Subscribe, follow this podcast. It's free. I would love it if you would leave a five-star review and share this episode with your friends, especially the people who tried to sell you a juice cleanse. Okay. We just busted 30 myths and we're just getting started as always. That's why we call bullshit. Thanks for listening. If you liked the episode, please share it with your friends. Listen, rate, and follow along on your favorite podcast app. Until next time, you beautiful nerds. Thank you.